and welcome to this very special edition of Tuesday Night Titans. Joining me here at ringside, Lord Alfred Hayes, and indeed we're expecting all kinds of exciting action here at ringside. And we are anticipating a capacity crowd still filing in. Lord Alfred Hayes, as you very well know, some of the outstanding individuals that have been invited to this wedding include President and Nancy Reagan, Queen Elizabeth and Prince Philip. Gosh. Cindy Lauper, Lee Iacocca, Jerry Falwell, Edie, I mean. I doubt he'll be here. Clara Peller, Mr. T, also to join us, perhaps Liz Taylor, along with Linda Lovelace, one of your favorites, Nikita Khrushchev, who definitely will not be here, and also Prince Tip O'Neill, also perhaps to join us, H.R. Haldeman, and maybe even Eddie Murphy. Yes, they are filing in now, ladies and gentlemen, and, but right now we would like to take you to our ring announcer, Howard Finkel. Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome to this special edition of TNT. Before we begin the festivities, there are a few announcements that I must make. First of all, there is to be no smoking whatsoever in this facility. If you wish to smoke, kindly do so in the lobbies and corridors. In addition, throwing objects towards this ring is strictly prohibited. It could injure anyone at ringside, including the participants inside the ring. If you are caught throwing anything towards this ring, you will be ejected from the facility and subject to arrest and prosecution to the fullest extent of the law. And finally, for the safety and comfort of all concerned, please allow safe access for the wedding party participants as they enter and exit the ring. And now, ladies and gentlemen, it gives me a great deal of pleasure to introduce to you some of the more outstanding luminaries in attendance for this evening's special event. First of all, Afa and Sika, the Wild Samoans. The Hollywood fashion plate, classy Fred Blassie. Jesse, the body Ventura. Jose Luis Rivera. Mr. Executioner and Mrs. Executioner. Are you kidding me? What about me? Dr. D. David Schultz. Dr. D. And Captain Louis Albano. Ladies and gentlemen, in just a few moments, we will be ready for this evening's main event. Yes, indeed, and we look forward to this evening's main event. This is no doubt going to be a very special TNT. And we'll be back with the wedding party, ladies and gentlemen, to join us in just a few moments as TNT continues on the special Butcher Paul Bashan wedding affair. with more TNT Tuesday night titans and certainly anxiously awaiting the presence of the bridal party as to be introduced by our ring announcer. Ladies and gentlemen, at this time, allow me to introduce your official for this evening's main event, the Reverend Meyer Lipschitz. And now, the main event. <laughs> The wedding of Paul the Butcher Vashon. This is scheduled for one fall with an infinite time limit. Allow me to introduce at this time the wedding party. First of all, from Algeria, the best man, Mad Dog Vashon. This is, of course, the, uh, the brothers well, it's Vashan's brother, the Vashan to be married, and uh, it appears as though the butcher's having some difficulty uh, putting the jacket on. You will not often find uh, Maurice Mad Dog Vashan with a jacket on, and he appears to have some difficulty, Lord Alfred Hayes, in yes. putting a jacket on. But nonetheless, he is here representing his brother. He is the best man, and Lou Albano trying to give a few last-minute instructions. 
And now, ladies and gentlemen, the groom of this evening's wedding from Montreal, Quebec, Canada, Paul the Butcher Vachon. Butcher Paul Vachon, who is being married, I believe, for the... Uh, I think it's the, Six. the sixth time. The big butcher is going to tie the knot for the sixth time, and perhaps uh, for the last time on this occasion. Ladies and gentlemen, introducing now the maid of honor from Columbia, South Carolina, the fabulous Mula. There she is, the fabulous Mula. A little kiss from Freddie Blousey and the fabulous Mula, of course making wrestling history for so many years, regarded, well, no one will ever be able to take her place in terms of the skills she displayed and currently does display in the ring, having some difficulty getting through the ropes only because of the attire she has on. And there, boy, she looks great. The fabulous Moolah, she looks terrific. I want to marry you, maid of honor, make a double celebration. I want to marry you, maid And now, this evening's flower girl from North Carolina, Diamond Lil. All right, little Diamond Lil, now where is she? Coming through and, oh, uh, wait a minute, wait. Hey, wait a minute, hey. Look at that, are you? Oh my goodness, look at this. She's a snotty, she's a snotty little one. Boy, you snotty, get up there, get in the ring, lady. Flower girl, a special flower girl, Diamond Lil, and uh, unfortunately, she has no flowers, thanks to Jesse the Body Venture. Snatched them right away. And now, I'm sure that was the a very ring bearer low from cost Paris, thing to do Prince, Snatching Sky those Low Low. All right, Sky Low Low. All right, oh, wait a minute. Oh, no. Are you kidding me? The ring went flying. Where, where's the ring? Right, what, what? Trying to find the ring in there. Sky Low Low going after somebody has the ring. He won't get it to him. Sky Low Low now with the right hand. Sky Low Low trying to find a ring. Sky Low Low underneath. It goes up in the air now. Sky down on his back. Freddie Plassey searching for the ring. Blue Al Battle looking for it as well. Where is Sky? Oh, oh my goodness. Sky Low Low looked up her dress. Wait, wait a minute. Oh, Sky does. I think he has it. Sky finally having it. Boy, did he ever take a whack from Freddie Plassey. He certainly did, and I, I... Are you sure he has the ring now? Or? I believe he does. He's lost his coat in the proceedings. Cool. All right. Finally, Sky Low Low, the ring bearer, has retrieved the ring and now in the ring. Yes. And ladies and gentlemen, last but certainly not least, the bride Ophelia. And giving the bride away, George the Animal Steel. George the Animal Steel giving away the bride. Ophelia, is that the right name? That's what I heard, Ophelia. They were uh, the words that we heard, but George Steele, could she be uh, a friend of his, or what would, you think would the relation be? All right, George the Animal Steele giving the bride away. This is a most unusual wedding. I don't believe I've ever seen anything quite like this before. Look at that. The animal gives away the bride. We'll be back with more TNT. Don't go away. They're about to get hit. Uh, thus far, have you ever experienced anything quite like this? This is absolutely unique. I must say, I've never experienced anything like this. But the people who are gathered here astound me as well. Yes, it, most unique indeed. Well, we're just about ready, I think, to go through with the, uh, uh, the more sacred part of the ceremony. So let's go up to our ring announcer. Ladies and gentlemen. Before we go any further, I must tell you this. There's some people here in this place that came here uninvited and they only here to cause trouble because they don't like my brother the butcher. They don't like me. If they don't like your son, they can't leave 
right you now. You sold me a ticket for $10 that's that's right, right, right now. Boo, I you were selling those tickets. I paid $10 tickets. for a ticket. Uh, an, angry uh, uh, an angry butcher's, uh, angry butcher's uh, brother there, uh, Maurice, uh, Mad Dog. Ladies and gentlemen, we are about to begin the ceremony, the wedding of Butcher Paul Vachon. I would like to give the microphone at this time to the Reverend Meyer Lipschitz. George, don't worry about a thing. Wait, the Reverend Lipschitz is talking. Reverend seems to be a little perplexed here. I think a bit of us. We are gathered here today in the sight of God and in the face of this company. To join together this man and this woman That's in holy it, matrimony, which is an honorable that. estate among all men, yeah, yeah, therefore right. not to be entered into lightly, of course, on, but reverently, discreetly, on, advisedly, on. and soberly, on, into this estate on. these two people, the, these two people, on, these two people on. present, come now to be joined. God bless. Paul. Will you have this woman to thy wedded wife to live together in the estate of matrimony? Wilt thou love her, Paul? Comfort her, honor and keep her in sickness and in health and forsaking all others. Keep thee only unto her as long as you shall live. I will. All right. Ophelia. Wilt thou have this man to thy wedded husband to live together in the estate of matrimony? Wilt thou love him, comfort him, honor and keep him in sickness and health, forsaking joke. all others? Keep thee only unto him so long as ye both shall live. <laughs> hey. uh, Come on, hipshits, get on with us. As long as ye both shall live. Wilt thee? I think she's having second, second thoughts. Hmm. I think she's getting scared. Ophelia? I, I will. Oh, thank you. Oh, I want to see the hell uh, that thing. Who giveth this woman to be married to this man? <laughs> Nobody, wanna give her Nobody wants to give her away. Nobody wants to give her away. George, the big away, goofy guy with the green tongue won't give her away. Go ahead, George. You brought her in. Do something with her. Take him 15 minutes. The wedding will be Hey! 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 Oh, you! Did you see oh. that? Oh, thank I, you. I'm glad. They're related. Now then, if any man can <laughs> show just tongue. cause I'm why they may bit. not lawfully be minute, joined together, I am let him go. Wait a minute, ref. Just a minute, ref. Wait a minute, ref. I Paul, just a minute, Paul. Wait a minute, minute. you shut uh, up. Paul, just checking, apparently. Paul, you've been married four or five, five or six times before, Paul. Shut up. And this woman is a virgin, Paul. This bride to be Ooh. is a virgin, Paul. I Ooh. object. Wait. You're my friend. What are you doing this because for? Because she's a virgin, you know, lily white virgin. No, no, no. You've no, always no. been my friend. No, 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 Paul. No, no, no. no. Don't worry about she's it. She's a virgin, Paul. Don't worry about it. No, she's not a virgin. Don't worry what about back? it. Oh, what's oh, that? Oh, well, what did you say, right? Paul? Well, that's all right. Hey, she's not what a virgin. What did you say, Paul? She's, she's not she's... a virgin, Paul. Shut up. Shut up. Well, that's all right. That's all right. That's all right. Go ahead. Continue with the one. Hey. Go ahead. All right. All right. Hello, this is the most. She's not a virgin, Fred. I can't believe it. She's not a virgin, Fred. I'm very Unbelievable. I I think maybe we'd better take a break here, they may not gentlemen. lawfully be joined uh, together, let him now speak, or else hereafter forever hold his peace. Hmm. I had seconds. Well, I think, yes, we, 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 we better, we'll take a commercial break here, and we'll be right back after and Eli Bono has exited right. the ring after that most embarrassing moment. festivities here this week on TNT and we are ready for the more sacred we hope sacred part of the ceremony let's go back up to ringside uh, uh, Paul would you repeat after me please I Paul take the Ophelia to my wedded broad, uh, bride and uh, wife to my wedded wife to have it to hold from this day forward yeah. For better, for worse, it, better, for, for richer, worse. for poor, yeah. sickness and health, oh, to love and to cherish, yeah. uh, to death do us part, and thereto I do plight my troth. That's a lip. Plight my troth. There too I do plight my troth. Uh, Betty. I got Ophelia. Hey, look at him. Come on, come on. I want Ophelia. Ophelia, take thee, Paul. Hi, Ophelia, take thee, Paul. To my wedded husband. To my wedded 
husband. Uh, to have the hold. To have the hold. From this day forward. From this day forward. For better, for worse. For better, or for worse. Yeah, for richer, for poor. For richer, for poorer. In sickness and health. In sickness and health. For love and to cherish. To death do us part. The ring, All right. With this ring. With this ring. I Now you have yours. Does this ring? That he who gives it and she who wears it may abide in thy peace and continue in thy favor until their life's end. Those whom God hath joined together, let no man put asunder. For as much as Betty and Paul have consented together in wedlock and have witnessed to give it there, other and declare the same by giving and receiving a ring and by joining hands, I now pronounce that they are man and wife. Oh, thank you. Kiss the bride. Wait a minute, David Schultz is in there. David wants to kiss the bride. Oh my goodness. Who's good? Oh my gosh. What, what is going on here? Wait a minute. Oh no! Oh no! Oh no! The groom is slammed to the canvas. Look at the bride. They're dragging the bride out. They're dragging her out. Look at complete mayhem. The groom, I don't know what's happened to him, but he's been slammed and he's obviously in a state of almost collapse there. I think we, we'll be back. We'll be back with more TNT. They're hits, but we'll be back with more TNT. Stay with us. Three, Lord Alfred Hayes, this is quite a festive occasion. Oh, better than I could ever imagine. I'm really having a fantastic time. Look at all these gifts. Look at all the people. Everybody's smiling, happy, even the groom is smiling. Yes, indeed. A big smile on the groom's face, as a matter of fact. Uh, oh, my goodness, and the champagne corks are flying here on TNT. Uh, let's have the bride and groom to come open the gift. Yes, look at that Maurice. He's a handsome lad, isn't he? Yes, he is, uh, but not quite as handsome as Paul uh, Butcher. They are a lovely couple, aren't they? You have a vivid imagination. And why don't we come right, right this way and perhaps we can open some of these gifts. Uh, well, Butcher, why don't you start things off? From the manager of world champions is the one and only Captain Louis hey, Alban. Captain Lou Alban. Why don't you tip inside that up so that... You'll find a little card inside there. Yes, we just did. Take a look at all the rubber bands. Something else you mean besides yes, the rubber band? There you go. Bless your soul, Lou Albano. You have to nice gift, I like that. What's it say? My gift is a lifetime supply of his and hers rubber band for your beautiful faces. Be careful when you kiss. The captain loves you. Rubber band. Oh, Lou, that's too much. That's too much. That's too much. Lou, you should really be proud of that. How do you like that, like? Look at that. Suck up. All you want. All the rubber bands for a lifetime. How you like that? Aren't they beautiful? Look at that. <laughs> Captain, you've outdone yourself here. How do you like that? Hey, you Paul. Good luck, brother. God bless you. God bless you all. God bless you all. Well, that's a fabulous gift there. What, what is the bride open one of these? All right. Thank you, Mr. Alvaro, for joining us. Let me, you, you open one of these. Yeah, let's Who's that from? It's from uh, Jesse the Body Ventura. Well, all right, where's the jet? Hey, the Jesse. Body. The body. Thanks for the gift. To the bride, the body you ain't got. <clears throat> but color your hair like mine. It will, what? It will help, you, help a you a lot. Well, try it anyway. To the groom, hairs go, what? Polish your head, Jack. Oh, thank you very much. <laughs> Mr. Ventura, this is uh, 
Uh, yes, preference. Go. Yes. Oh, it's your head, Jack. You need a little something. Uh, yeah. That's very quite good. nice. Thank very you for it. Yes. Very nice of him. Quite thoughtful. Quite thoughtful. Yes, Here's another one. All right. What do we have here? Oh. It's a pair of eyeglasses, it looks like. What's this say? From Fred Blassie. Naturally. Freddy, huh? Yeah. You want to open this? see uh, what sort of words of wisdom Mr. Blassie has? Yes, and I have the glasses for it and everything. Next time you choose a husband, use these glasses. They're also handy to inspect tiny cheap diamonds, Blassie. <laughs> well, let's see that. Mr. Blassie? I sort of expect Mr. Blassie? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Tiny cheap diamonds. You know this thing here? I've seen this ring many, many times. Oh? He gave it to his second wife, the third wife, the fourth wife, and the fifth wife. Oh, that's not there ain't even a gem in there, ain't even a stone in there. Oh, that's not Hey, why don't you buy her something like this, you cheapskate? A 16 carat stone. You make enough money. What are you doing, hoarding all the stuff? Why don't you throw that away? Thank you, Mr. Blassie. Yes. You're all right, Ray. Happy Pride. Uh oh, you're going to be just by Mr. Blassie. Hey, hey, hey. That's what else do we have? Now, let's see. This is what I'm here. Uh, let's see. Ophelia, why don't you open one of those? Oh. This is nice. Isn't that nice? Who's that from? Yeah. From Af Afa and Sika, the wild wow. Samoan. Come on, Afa, come on. Sika. Come on. Ah. Make a little love. Make a little love. Good luck, brother Afa and Sika. Isn't that nice, huh? Beautiful. Wow. That's very nice, huh? Yes. This is terrific. Was this off of your words or, or sick? Of, eat a little fish, drink a little wine, make a little love, good luck, brother. Isn't that nice? It's, huh? it's beautiful. Yes. Yes. Nice. Very nice. Huh? Yes. Good, good fish. Fish good to, to eat raw. Yes. Bring muscles and, 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 and keep happy. Mary's roll time. Yes. Yes. Oh, yes. 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 Isn't that nice? Yes. Thank you very much, yes. Appa and Sika. That's very nice of you. Yes. That's very nice indeed. Yes. Yes. Well, why don't we try? Why does an Ophelia open one of these? Oh, what's that? Oh, my goodness. From the fabulous Moolah. Why don't you open that, Paul? Right, let's see what Moolah has. The fabulous Moolah. I think this is for the bride to read. Okay. You could do a lot better by using my beauty secrets. With Moolah's beauty products, you too can look lovely. Almost like me, fabulous Moolah. Oh my goodness, isn't that nice? Beauty products? You like for the it. fabulous Moolah, your own special brand, this is too much. Such a very thoughtful gift. Well, I've enjoyed everything, and I'm sure they're going to have a happy marriage. If I can do anything to help, I will. Isn't that nice? Maybe take the husband. You never know. Uh, that would be that would be no, quite no, premature. No. <laughs> no, yes. Thank you very much. Uh, thank you. Uh, fabulous Mula with a kiss for the groom. That's a little different. Uh, we have what? Is, was this, this was open. That one we can't show. Oh, oh. my God. Holy. Oh, oh. 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 Right. Let's no. that one. Let's put that one to the side. Uh, Who said that? This, this, oh, well, that's okay. Thomas from Moolah. Yes. Well, I think you've done quite well. I think we did pretty well. Uh, I want to thank, what do you think, honey? I think we should thank all our friends. And, uh, for oh, really? Isn't this so sweet? Isn't this nice? Oh, this is just wonderful. The most important things ever happened to me. <laughs> yes, of course. Mr. Schultz, you're inspecting the gifts? Yeah, I want to see what they got. I got it right to see. I bought them something, too. All right, well, thank you. Lots more TNT, and uh, the corks are popping around here on the champagne bottles, and certainly people are having a good time. As a matter of fact, uh, I'm sure there are a number of toasts that would uh, a number of people sure. would like to make. Wouldn't you I love? bet they have all sorts of things in mind to say and would love to say them for well, everybody to know. Why don't uh, Why don't we? Uh, yeah, why, why not start with this one? Well, uh, I guess so. Um, George the Animal Steel. Uh, a, a toast from George the Animal Steel. You wanted to toast? 
You want to toast the bride and groom? Come on, George! Uh, it's a deal, please. There are other people who would like to make toast. If you're capable, you've got people cheering, rooting for you. Pump in the gun! That's a judge! A toast? I said he ought to learn how to talk. I got school for people like that. You know? You sound. Very good, George. Very good. Uh, Mr. Albino, please, we'll get to you, I'm sure. Well, thank you, we'll get to you. Please. Perhaps, uh, perhaps uh, a, a toast in, 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 in so the, the native tongue of Samoa. Okay, Alpha Fkaikele Lava, okay. Fresh toast in the Sungale, the Mali Fong, Mangaya, Mangaya, the Asoma, the Oma, the Oma, the Oma. That's great. Thank you very much. Yes. I want to I I propose a toast to Scampia Gators. That's a, that's a Pensacola team, football team. I want to propose a toast to them. I want to propose a toast to the bride and groom, my good friend Paul Vachon, and his lovely lady wife. And I want to sit down and propose a toast with everybody in here and my Samoans, Alpha, Sika, Junior, yeah. and my good friend right over here, my good friend Rodney Rodney. All right, let's have everybody. Open your teeth. Open your gums. Look out, stomach. Here it comes. <laughs> Hardly a toast befitting the bride and groom. Uh, uh, perhaps over here, someone, someone from this table would like to perhaps make a toast. Wait a minute, wait a minute, I got one more. I got a girl that lives on a hill. She won't, but her sister will. All right, all right, all right. Come on, let's just. All right, perhaps a toast over here as well. Yes, Vince. Uh, on behalf of Mr. X, I don't know where his wife is. She's probably cavorting with Lou Albano. Our friend Kelly and Reverend uh, Meyer Lipschitz. We salute Mr. and Mrs. Bashan by saying, La Chaya. All right, well, good luck, yes. Good luck to everyone, yes. Uh, Mr. Ventura, perhaps, do you have a toast for the bride and the groom? Yes, can you? I'll tell you what, I got a toast at Alfred. First of all, I got a toast for Alfred Hayes. All right, okay. I, I'll, I'll drink to that, what is that? Very simple, God save the queen, right? Oh, another one. Oh, very well. This one, this one re is very profound if you think about it. The scum always rises to the top of the water. Uh, yes, well, many of it. Mr. Albano, I don't know. No, I don't think so. No, Mr. Albano. She got freckles on her nose. All right, all right. Mr. Albano. All right, fine. Let's, let's perhaps... Sky low low with a toast. You know, gentlemen, I'm not ready yet for a toast. But the, a person who tried to take all the time and let his big mouth go about toast, toast this, toast that, toast that. What the hell do you want, a toaster? Say it in French. Say it in French. Let me say it in French. Say that 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 in French. No, I don't want to toast nobody, man. You've been running around here talking to all the <laughs> over here. You've been talking to the Samoans. You've been talking to English people. You come here like I'm a piece of trash or garbage. I don't want to toast nobody. I toast myself is all I toast. Now, you can get that mic out of my face because I'm feeling really hostile. You know what I mean? I've been feeling hostile all night towards everybody, and I don't appreciate the way you people treat me. So just, I don't even want to talk to you right now. I'm fixing to open this champagne, and I just hope, hey! I hope it don't go in your face. You. Dr. D. David Schultz. Everyone's certainly having a good time, right, gentlemen?
As we can see, the, the bride and the groom. The bride and the groom certainly are enjoying this dance. Let's watch them for a moment. Yes, a lovely couple they make, yes. A handsome couple, you, is that the way you phrased it earlier, yes, Alfred? So didn't you, um, he of course is extremely happy and she is radiant as a bride. Well, it's been kind of tough to, to see her face though. We have not really had a good shot at her face except that one quick time in which we saw the flashing, I believe, of a green tongue, which certainly you commented then that there was some reason why George the Animal still gave this lady away, and obviously there must be something there, heredity. Uh, you know, there must be something in the genes. I, I would think so. And another thing, did you notice that she allowed him only to approach her when there was that awful fight going on in the ring? Or should I say fracas? Well, not exactly a fight, but there was a melee there, and, yes. and she was a, uh, she allowed him only. So I think maybe he is daddy. Well, what do you think? Of Oh, that is, hey, please don't do a thing like that. That is most disgusting and, and very offensive. Is that his way of having a good time or what? We apologize for the actions of uh, Louis Albano, who gets carried away at these sort of functions. And but nonetheless, it's obvious Mr. Albano is happy. Everyone is happy here. The bride and the groom dancing. And as you said before, they make somewhat of a a majestic looking couple. Just a thought, uh, Vince. If um, the George, the Animal Steel, is daddy in law, what an incredible pair those are. <laughs> uh, Animal Steel and Butcher Vachon. To be related. Yes. It's... What sort of os offspring are they going to. <laughs> uh, perhaps we're looking at it now. I'm not too sure. I hope not. Uh, Lou Albano with a brief rendition of Mr. Albano. Mr. Albano. <laughs> Mr. Albano, you've got to be ashamed of yourself. Why, 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 why would a body like this, I've got to be ashamed? That's what, are you kidding? That's are you kidding? All right, we're going to go. No, no. We're going to go to the feature match. We're going to go to the feature match, after which we'll be back. Let's go now to the feature match. Now's a good time to get out of here. Bride and groom still going at it, and certainly they very much enjoy dancing. We certainly hope that's a, a good indication, Alfred, of uh, their relationship to come. I think it's been such a splendid party so far, but there's a lot more to come, and I'm looking forward to seeing everybody dancing. Yes, it really would be nice, and I'm sure we are going to be seeing more of everyone really getting involved in terms of the dancing and whatever it may be. And uh oh, I think we're, I think we're about, I think we're about. Very nice, huh? Yes, he does. Very nice, yes. Yes, that's very nice, as a matter of fact. The bride... Yes, look at the steps he knows. That, is that called ballroom dancing or something like that? Ballroom dance? What is this beast doing? Oh, wait a minute. Oh, my goodness. She almost comes up to that rather bulbous navel on Louis Albano. That must be just an excruciating experience for such a, uh, a lovely I little dog. <laughs> Mr. Blasey having a good laugh. Yes. Hmm. Tell her to get her finger out of your navel, Lou. <laughs> well, this is different. I'm sure we'll have everyone dancing before before long. The party is kind of really warming up, so to speak. And we'll be back with more TNT as we continue in just a moment. The Butcher Paul Vachon wedding. This is quite a festive occasion, Lord Alfred Hayes. I don't believe I've ever attended a wedding quite like this one, have you? In an understatement of the year, I would say unusual. Uh, 1984 is going out with the bang, but what about the wedding couple, the luck, lucky couple? How's their 1985 going to be? That's a very good question. Have there ever been any weddings uh, like this in, in, uh, in Britain at all? Are you aware of anything? At all? Was this, was this uh, somewhat like the reception Lady Di had? Uh, no, I don't think so. Not at all. No. Lady Di had a very nice reception. People were a little contained, but then they were given to um, being a little extrovert, but here, extrovert is hardly the word. Uh, well, speaking 
Speaking of extroverted, perhaps we can coax Captain Louis Albano to, to step up to the microphone, unaccustomed as he is to public speaking. Uh, Captain Louis Albano, we are told, he and the Samoans are going to do a nice little tune. Yes, and Captain Louis Albano, he wouldn't say anything that was uncouth, would he? Of course not. Captain Louis Albano! Yes, please, if you would. All right, Lou Albano now, going up. This should be most interesting. Dog entirely in Samoan. I don't think it's quite Samoan. It may be some other Polynesian language, but not Samoan. That's one of the most grotesque things I've ever seen in my life. over there somewhere. Sky low low. Sky low low I think is going to sing. All right, give me, whoop, where'd it go? Where'd it go? It appeared to me that Sky low low went over there to restore a little order. Oh my goodness, look at this. Oh no, oh my goodness. Gentlemen, thank you. Thank you, Sky Low Low. Thank you very much. Thank you. Yes, but but now, thank you. But now it's time to cut the cake. And yes, if we could have the bride and the groom to cut the cake. Wait, just a minute. Women can sing like you all day long. Paul Bashar, you're a professional wrestler, you know what I mean? And I'm looking out for you. I want your woman to know how to take care of you. Woman, do you know how to take care of a man? Well, speak up, do you know? I guess you're going to tell me, aren't you? I'm going to tell you. If you don't know, are you that dumb? No, but you can give me your advice. Pull this up. I don't want to look through that at you. No, pull it down better. <laughs> now, do you know when your man wants something, you get it for him? Right? If you say so. Right, shut up. Pull it down. 
I done been out here all night getting madder and madder because I think I don't think you know how to take care of a man. If he has a flat tire on his truck, who's going to change it? Why, he is. Are you crazy? Are you crazy? You'll change it, won't you? Huh? I might think about yeah, it. Yeah, you'll change it, what you'll do. If you need firewood, who's going to get it? We'll see. No, you're going to get it. You think it's a joke or something? You're sitting there laughing? I've been sitting out here all day getting madder and madder, and I'm sweating, I'm hot, I'm all upset over it. You come in here off the street talking about being a virgin, ain't been a virgin or nothing, Paul Wait, Vashon. Hey, hey, I don't have to take it off you either, Vince Wait. McMahon. I don't have, hey, I've had it with you too. I'm here to talk to this girl. You're not a woman, you're a girl. I'm a lady. You're not a lady. You done said you was down on the street corner. Shut up. Get off of me. Well, let me hear one thing that you don't treat this guy like a man. Get your hand off of me. Get your hand off of me. You hear me? This guy like a man. I'm gonna come looking for you, and I'm gonna give you something that you don't want. You remember that? Quit smiling at me. Don't smile at me. Thank you, please, Mr. Schultz, if you don't mind. Can we have a cutting of the cake? Yeah, let's do, let's cut the cake. All right, let's cut the cake. All right. Please, let's have the bride and the groom cut the cake. Why don't we take this little? Uh, surely you would cherish this for the rest of your life. Yes. And Sky, you're up to supervise, no doubt. Now the cutting of the cake, please. Here we go. There's the plate there. All right. Why don't you cut that in half and each other can have a little of it traditionally? All right. Right in the groom, butcher Paul Bashan, and perhaps a little tasting of that cake, huh? Might be good. Oh, uh, first of all, he feeds her? Mm. That's the way it should be. The woman feeds the man. That's ah, right. Oh, beautiful. Oh, but I don't eat cake, dear. Why not? This is a wedding cake. You know what? You know what? I don't eat cake. The man said to eat cake, you eat cake. You don't like cake, huh? No, I don't like well, cake. Well, I like cake, see? I like cake. Won't you take No! Oh, my God! my God, no, I can't believe that. Oh, wait a minute. Hold up, please, just a minute, please. Let's get this, oh. Oh, this is, oh, this is, this is unbelievable. Oh, God. Wait a minute. Wait, please. Please. No, please. Hey. Now, hey. no. let's please maintain hey. a little water. Hey. Ah. Hey. No, please. Oh, the Reverend, please. Oh, 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 oh. 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 No, no. <laughs> oh my goodness, please. Let's have a maintain a little order, if you don't mind. Oh. oh my goodness, a little order. <laughs> what happened there? Because <laughs> Alfred. <laughs> Incredible. Oh, thank you. Uh, that's so nice. Oh. Are you pardon? here's you one right here. I've been wanting to do that a long time. A long time. Oh, oh, oh. Oh, now you've got one. I am. Come in. 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 This is getting a little out of hand. Can we please have a little order here? This is getting out of hand. Please. Please, come on now. This is getting, no. Oh. 
Oh, wait a minute. Huh? Hey. What? I said no. Just Police. Hey, wait a minute. Oh, no, not one for Alfred. Please. Oh, my. Oh. Oh. Ah. Give me a break. Ah. Ah. Oh. Guy. Oh. Guess it's getting way out of hand here. back with more TNT and Lord, Lord Alfred Hayes this is the most bizarre oh. uh, reception to go along with the most bizarre oh. wedding I think perhaps in history well Would you I've, concur with that I have to concur because never before have I ever been hit with a pie never before have I uh, been oh, <laughs> subjected to so much uh, humiliation yet with hilarity and somehow, other, for some ridiculous reason, oh, gosh, I, I like it. I like the taste of the pie. 